Okay, this is our reading lesson. Okay, uh, we're going to be uh, working on our benchmark. Okay, unit one. Okay, talking about again uh, my rights. Okay, it says cause. So we're talking about cause and effect. Okay, so for example, cause Rosa Parks refused to move from her seat, from her bus seat. Okay, what were the effects? What happened to her because she did that? Al Alana? She had to go to jail. Okay, she got arrested. Good thing now you could, you know, say whatever you want, right? <laughs> but back then, they couldn't. Okay. Identifying cause and effect. Identifying cause and effect in texts is important as it helps us to understand the events that are happening. It helps us to understand what's happening and why it's happening. A cause happens first. It's why something happens. To find the cause, ask, why did this happen? An effect happens after the cause. It tells us what happened. Let's look at some cause and effect relationships. It rained. Carolina got wet. It raining is the cause because it must have occurred first and because it tells us why Carolina got wet. Carolina getting wet is the effect because it had to have happened after the cause and it tells us what happened. Here's another example. Phil stayed up late. Phil was tired in the morning. Let's start by looking for the cause which happens first and tells why. That's right, Phil staying up late. Which happens after the cause and tells us what happened? That's right, Phil was tired in the morning. This is the effect. Cause and effect relationships occur every day. For example, if you study hard, you'll get better grades. Forget to use sunscreen on a hot day, you'll get sunburnt. Play in the mud, get muddy. An easy way to spot cause and effect relationships in books is to look out for signal words. Cause and effect signal words tell the reader that there might be cause and effect occurring. Here are some cause and effect signal words and phrases you might come across. Now, see if you can spot signal words in a text and then work out which is the cause and which is the effect. Wendy was feeling sick, so she stayed home from school. Can you see the signal word? That's right, so. Now let's work out which is the cause and which is the effect. Remember a cause happens first, but not always first in the text. And it answers the question, why did this happen? The cause must be Wendy feeling sick. It had to have happened first, and it answers the question why. Why did she stay home? We know Wendy staying home from school must be the effect, because it happened after the cause, and it tells us what happened. Wendy stayed home. Let's look at this sentence. Can you find a signal word or phrase? The swimming carnival was cancelled due to bad weather. The signal phrase is due to. What is the cause and what is the effect? See if you can work it out. How did you go? The cause is the bad weather because it was the event that happened first and it tells us the why. The effect is the swimming carnival being cancelled because it happened after the cause and it tells us what happened. Try some more on your own. In each sentence, identify the signal word or phrase, then decide which is the cause and which is the effect. The children were hungry because they hadn't eaten all day. Okay, let's try this one, okay? Okay, it said, the children were hungry because they hadn't eaten all day. 
So what's the signal word? Allison? So the, the signal word. So I'm only looking for one word. Because, correct. Okay. All right. Okay. What's the what's the cause? Which what well, what would happen first? That's a pretty good way to figure it out, David. Okay. Okay. That's what happened first. Okay. Let's see. Well, okay. We'll 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 see if that's correct or not. Okay. And then what would be the the effect? Curtis, do you, do you agree or, or or feel different? Okay, so you feel a little bit different than, than David because you think that the cause is that they hadn't eaten all day. That's what happened first. As a result of that, what happened second is that the children were hungry. Okay, let's see if that's correct. So you said that they hadn't eaten all day was the cause, okay? And then the effect was that they were hungry. Let's see. Because signals cause and effect. This is the cause and this is the effect. Since the class worked so hard, the teacher suggested a game. The word since signals cause and effect. This is the cause, and this is the effect. Max said he'd cancel the race if the track was wet. The word if signals cause and effect. This is the cause, and this is the effect. Spotting cause and effect is easy. EasyTeaching.net. Okay, so you're going to go to your red booklet. Okay, see that the red one looks like this. Okay, on you, your unit one booklet. Okay, and go, go to page 11. Go to page 11. Extended read one. Remember to annotate as you read. It is my right by Harper Larios. Many Americans have worked hard to make sure that all citizens have the same rights. Alice Paul, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King Jr., and Cesar Chavez were leaders in the fight for rights for all. Alice Paul, it is my right to vote. Before 1920, American women did not have the right to vote. Alice Paul believed that women should be able to vote. She thought women would be good leaders. Alice Paul joined the cause for women's right to vote. Alice Paul went to England and met many suffragists. There were women and men who supported the right of women to vote. Suffragists there marched in the streets and made speeches. Alice Paul admired how they worked to get the vote for women. Back home, Alice Paul pushed American suffragists to be more like those in England. It was time to be bold and speak out for the right to vote. Alice Paul helped organize a parade in Washington, D.C. in 1917. Between 5,000 and 10,000 people from all over the world came to march. They supported American women's right to vote. People filled the city that day. Some were there for the parade. Others were there to watch Woodrow Wilson become President of the United States. Hundreds of thousands of people watched the parade. Many were unhappy about it. They shouted that women should stay home. Marchers were pushed and tripped. More than 100 went to the hospital. The parade was a success, though. It brought attention to the issue of women's right to vote. Alice Paul kept fighting for this cause. She was sent to jail several times, but that didn't stop her. She kept working. A few years later, in 1920, 
Women gained the right to vote. Rosa Parks. It is my right to sit anywhere. After the Civil War, Jim Crow laws kept African Americans from exercising all their rights. Public places were often segregated. For example, at the movies, whites could sit downstairs. African Americans had to sit in the balcony. African Americans could not swim in the same pools or go to the same schools as whites. In many places, African Americans were also kept from voting. Rosa Parks, an African American, tried to register to vote in Alabama twice. She had the right to vote, but was turned down both times. Together with many others, Rosa Parks worked to change Jim Crow and other unfair laws. On December 1, 1955, Rosa Parks boarded a city bus in Montgomery, Alabama. She was going home from work. The first 10 seats of the bus were for white passengers only. Rosa Parks sat behind those seats in a seat for African Americans. Soon the bus was full. A white man got on. The bus driver told Rosa Parks to give her seat to the man. She politely refused to move, so the bus driver called the police. Rosa Parks was arrested because she didn't do what the driver told her to do. And then it says, the police drove her to the police station. Parks didn't know what might happen to her. Uh, she was released from jail several hours later. In her autobiography, Parks wrote, I had no idea when I refused to give up my seat on that Montgomery bus that my small action would help out and would, would help put an end to the segregation laws in the South. I only knew that I was tired of being pushed around. I was a regular person, just as good as anybody else. All right, so we're going to fill out, complete this cause and effect flowchart. So this is what happened first. It says Rosa Parks refused to move from her bus seat and was arrested. Okay. So what was the result of that? What happened after that? So if you go back to page 14, and then she refused to, to move, right? Rosa Parks was arrested because she did not know what uh, the bus driver what she didn't do what the bus driver told her to do okay okay what was what, what happened as a result of, of that okay uh, my suggestion would be look on page 16 in paragraph 13. page 16 on paragraph 13. it tells you in the second sentence what was the result of that? Yeah, Scarlett? Yeah. So you're right. Okay, one day on a... One day, a bus boycott was organized. And I got done on page 16. Paragraph 13. Okay. And then Rosa Parks is found guilty. Why would why was why is she found guilty, Julian? Yes. Okay. She she was found guilty of not obeying 
the law. Okay. That's also on page 16, but paragraph 15. Okay. And then what happened after that? She got sent to the police. She got sent to the police. Okay. And then who who also knew about her her actions? Yes. And what did he want? Says Dr. King's group, you're right. Calls for a longer bus boycott. That's also on page. 16, paragraph 15, okay? And then what was, what, 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 what did they do during the boycott? Is on the last, the last part of page 16. Somebody read it for me? The last sentence on page six, uh, 16. Read it. Keep on. So African Americans refuse to ride the bus for how long? 381 days and that was on page 16 paragraph 15 again 